This use a plane is brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Yes, it's on power. This is the 7 a.m. Barbados Today update for Friday, May the 30th, 2014. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Good morning. A prominent financial analyst is accusing the local trade union movement of contributing significantly to low productivity in Barbados. Peter Booz, a chartered accountant and business executive, told a Rotary Club of Barbados luncheon at Hilton yesterday that unions have done this by promulgating uncompetitive labor practices. We have created a society that now feels entitled to everything for free, with little appreciation of the cost and economic burden. Schooling, healthcare, transport, education, etc. Whilst at the same time we are engendering a laissez faire culture where low productivity is the result. In my view, trade unions have contributed significantly to low productivity by promulgating uncompetitive labor practices. Political party affiliations of unions create their own problems. Barbados private sector management. Barbados private sector management has been complicit. Booz also suggested the establishment of a national alliance of stakeholders that could find solutions to this country's economic decline. I am certain that our current challenges cannot be satisfactorily solved via a party political approach. I am also certain that national governance reform will only occur if all of us in civil, in civil society are willing to get engaged in making change happen and agree to share the burden of adjustment. We have weak and failing national institutions that are critical for the Westminster model to have a chance of even working. Our media, the legal justice system, the church, the private sector, the unions appear to lack resources or willingness to provide leadership. Police were last night continuing to hunt for the killer or killers of former Pike Corner St. Lucie resident Aaron Boyce, who was murdered while parked out with his female companion in an area near the Pleasant Hall Cemetery in St. Lucie. Boyce's partner escaped and police say she is now safe. The car driven by the female companion was later found on fire at Turner's Hall in St. Thomas. There's regional and international news after this short break. Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bike. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Yes, the sun power. In regional news now, police in Kingston West and St. Catherine, Jamaica, have removed 13 firearms and more than 2,000 rounds of ammunition from the possession of criminals in less than 24 hours. The lawmen also arrested a man they believe is the leader of Kingston's notorious Scare Them Crew gang. The police say they were able to accomplish this in separate incidents between Wednesday and yesterday. And finally, on the international scene, at least three men, including one police officer, have been arrested after two teenage girls were gang-raped and hanged from a tree in India. Authorities in the northern state of Uttar Pradesh said they were looking for one more suspect and one constable. Wednesday morning brought a gruesome discovery to the village of Katra in northern India. The bodies of two teenage cousins, one age 14, the other 15, were found hanging from a mango tree. A post-mortem later confirmed the girls had been gang-raped and had died from hanging. The cousins, who were from a low caste, had left home to walk into the fields because they had no toilet. 
We were ready to go to the police station. Then a police officer came to me and said the girls are hanging from a tree. Villagers say at first the police refused to investigate. So they staged a protest under the tree and refused to cut the bodies down. Whatever happened, it was very wrong. It's a very serious issue. We are fully prepared and we are with the victim's family. We will take the strictest action against the culprits. Despite new laws against sexual violence in India, rape remains a problem. The Indian media has likened these killings to the sort of violence that happened in medieval India, where low-caste women were seen as the property of higher-caste men who didn't have to account for their actions. That's been the 7 a.m. update. Join us again at noon, but until then, log on to www.barbadostoday.bb. Subscribe to our e-paper and like us on Facebook to get more news and sports. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. This news update is brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bike. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it.